Little Cece Watts is so adorable, isn't she? I had seen this clip many, many times, and whenever I watched it, I had this idea in my mind about what was going on. Recently, I was putting together some clips from various videos for a project I was doing, and I watched this two and a half minute clip of Cece in her crib, and it occurred to me that something completely different than what I originally thought was going on. So I recently uploaded the video of, you know, just this, this Facebook post that was put on, that Shanann put up a Facebook Live post that just takes you through, you know, these couple of minutes. So I'm going to put a link for that in the description if you want to listen to it yourself and see what you think. So I'm just going to tell you the first many, many times I watched this, what I saw was, you know, Shanann coming in to get Cece out of her crib. And if you've watched a lot of videos of the family interacting, you know that Cece is a really big personality. She is full of energy and she seems to like to get attention. It's really cute. I think it's, you know, like in a very sweet way for the most part. But recently, when this clip started playing, I was just, you know, working on something and it started playing kind of in the background. For the first time, I heard some things I hadn't heard before. Now, I was editing a video, so I had my editing headphones on. So, I, you hear in the background, Bella calls out for her mom six times. She says, Mommy, hurry. You know, Mommy, hurry. And I had heard most of those calls from Bella, I think, previously when I listened to this before. But when I had my editing headphone on, guys, what I heard was, Mommy, hurry, it hurts, towards the end. And then one time where she just said at the very, very end, it hurts, hurry. So that kind of changed things for me. So then when I watched this video again, what I saw was Cece hearing Bella crying out, wanting help. And if you watch Cece really closely and you look at her facial expressions and when she pauses and when she looks at her mama, to me, it looks like Cece is a little distressed and she is trying to respond to Bella's cries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through this video clip again, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is I can hear with my editing headphones on. After that, there are several other clips that are going to allow us to, you know, further comment on this dynamic. The children always napped with blackout curtains and the rain machines. What are you doing, kid? What are you doing? See, so she's just saying blanky, or no, here she says, I don't have those headphones I was wearing the first time I heard, you know, Bella saying, mommy help, it hurts. Um, but you can hear her, she, it sounds like she says, take it. She wants, she needs to take her blanky because I imagine, that indicates nap time's over. We're going to get out and play now. You know, we've seen Cece wake up from naps before and her eyes are really puffy and red. And she looks like she's a really happy and hard sleeper, right? <laughs> I am too. I love that. You're like, oh, I'm like still have a sleep for half an hour. Um, but she's clearly wide awake. She's got a lot of energy right now. She's ready to go, you know? <clears throat> You don't bang on the wall, Cece. Oh. None. Now here is, you know, the camera moves in. The look on Cece's face, I think she looks a little scared. And I'm not saying that she has any reason to be scared, such as there's past, you know, bad things. Somebody went into accusing me of saying that today, which I did not. Um, but what you'll see is she, you know, grips the bar kind of tighter can see her muscles contract and then she pulls a one leg in and kind of pulls back into herself that's like 
insecurity, or fear. It's just what it is. This is evidence-based scientific analysis of um, physiology. No. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, so this here, and I could, I could, I could look at you know any t teacher. I could look at a video of myself, and I do this because I have to, um, or parent, and you could point out all of these things. But you know, this is just how it's going. To, this is how it's going down, um, from what we know scientifically, from a developmental perspective, where Cece's at right now. So I'm going to go back a little bit. So you know, it's like the no, 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 yes, 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 no, no. There's a lot of mixed verbal messaging. No, no, no. Yes. She's like, so okay, baby. You wonder why you're still in a crib, Missy. Mm. Okay, so that is for a young child that age, she can understand language. And that is in, I can't, I can't think of what an emo, like a feeling would be that would be more appropriate for that age, but that's a feeling of embarrassment for Celeste. I'm sure she has been made aware she should be out of the crib by now. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, uh. Bella. Hey, uh, yeah. Bella. Now this part here is important. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, ma'am. Oh no, no. Okay, so like, you know, I think what you see here is he's like blanky, because obviously she wants to go out and see Bella, right? She who knows what she was knocking on the wall for, but she's heard Bella now. You know, mommy, hurry twice. And she probably just wants to play with her anyway because they seem like they have fun together. Um, so, you know, she's excited. She's like, a oh, blankie. And then, she, you know, mom is like, yes, blankie. Yeah, I've got the blankie. You know, she's so like, oh, good, you got the blankie. We're going to go now. Great. You know, but that's not what happens. Blankie? Uh, blankie. Yeah, I have the blankie. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, CC. And she probably there thought that's what she was supposed to be doing. She's getting out. So I don't know if you heard there. Um, Bella says, hurry, mommy. Like, it's a, more faint, but with the editing headphones, you can hear it clearly. Like, here. Right there. So Cece picks up on that. And now she's trying to indicate to mom. Mommy. Cece. Okay, honey. Now, when she says, Mommy, hurry louder, you can see on Cece's face. She's attentive. She's happy. And then she hears Bella. She's attentive. And then, you know, a little concerned. Oh, Bella, what's, you know, what's going on? Why are we not getting Bella, you know? Something like that. Looking to mom, mom, why are we not getting Bella? <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, well, jumping's fun anyway, and so let's jump. <laughs> you know? This is what kids do. We all know that. Now this, what she's doing with her face right now, this I really had to decide. I was going to go through and do an analysis to you catch this. She's showing a lot of tension right now in the way she's holding her, um, her, her eyes, her lips, her face. Whoops, let me just let you see it. This is not like a carefree, happy, jovial smile. Now she she says she's trying to say Ella. She ends up saying baby. 
I truly believe she's trying to say Ella here. She's trying to indicate Ella. Baby. And then, she's, oh, uh, now uh, Bella's calling out again. Okay, Bella, I'm coming. So see, she's taking this into her own hands. Mm, no, ma'am. And here she looks stressed. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. See, see, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Okay, sweetheart. And there she says, Mom, it hurts. And Cece starts to get more agitated. And again, we don't know exactly why this is, but this is just, these are, okay, sweetheart. Cece. Okay, sweetheart. Cece. Looking to mom. Hey, baby. And then look, she's so defeated. So this is a defeat for Cece. This is a this is a defeat with her helping her sister, you know, uh, doing what she needs for herself. For a ch a very young child her age, it's a defeat. So, you know, what does all that mean? I don't exactly know. I know what it would mean if you know I was working with her, but let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to play some clips for you guys and. Rather than trying to do a voiceover, I want you to be able to hear exactly what is going on. So I am going to overwrite um, what Bella is saying in the background. In each of these clips, Bella is trying to get Shanann's attention and Shanann is not responding to Bella because she is busy recording. Um, sometimes it is for Thrive for selling those products. Now, guys, listen, I don't think Shanann was a bad mom. I think Shanann, I've said it a million times and I mean it, was an outstanding person in many ways. But the fact of the matter is, and I attribute this to, you know, the pressure MLMs put on people and they target women, young women, women with young children, um, that they, the pressure that MLMs put on these women to show a certain kind of lifestyle. And it is that lifestyle that they are trying to sell. So when people comment on this video, there are going to be people, plenty of them, that comment without watching. I want you to please, please keep that in mind. Uh, squat. <laughs> squat, Cece. Oh, good job, Cece. I don't know, baby. Squat. One, two, three. Ready? Squat again. Ready? Good Mommy. squatting, Cece. Can you do this, Cece? Hey, squat run. Here, squat run. Cece. Cece, come squat run. Bring her here. Okay, we'll play mini. Can you turn around? Bella, stop. Cece wants to play with this. You have to share, remember? Put her down. Yep, Cece. Cece. Look, Cece. Celeste. Touch your bow. Touch your bow. There you go. 
Watch out, Cece. Don't pull her, Bella. Here, we'll touch her bow. Ready? She's coming. Thanks, Kendall. Hey, wait, don't touch her. We need a play date, Kendall. Ready? Wait, Bella. Bella, let her. Bella. Let Cece go, please. <laughs> Cece, squat run. Squat run. Squat run. No, no, not squat. Look, Cece. Look at mommy. Cece. Cece. Celeste. Look, there you go. Squat run. Cece squat runs. Go, Cece. Are you squat running? Cece, look. Look at mommy. <laughs> Cece. All right, Kendall. Let's do this. I'm available almost any time. We can plan for next week if you like. Just send me a text message or if you have my number still. Or message me on Facebook. Squat run. Go Cece, go Cece, go. Hey, guys. Mommy. What, baby? Say hi, Cece. Hi. Hi. Look at this monster. This is what I deal with. Like, she's a monster. Don't you jump off the couch. I'm sitting right here, Mama. She's a monster. Like, she doesn't stop. Like, seriously, this kid hasn't napped today. No, don't, don't stay on my legs, baby. My life. I just sat down to sit with these kids. Literally, um, this phone has not stopped since last night's call. Like, amazing! Oh my goodness. The kids, um, Cece's excited. Bella, are you excited? Are you excited? Do you want to jump like that? Life of the party? My phone right there. No, I'm putting it right here. Put it right here. Okay, well, uh, it's right here. Are you going to try to jump on me? Yes. Okay, phone's right there. Okay. The monster. She doesn't stop. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Amy. Hi, Christina. Oh my gosh. You guys have been keeping me so impressed. Hey, hey, hey. Don't sit on your sister, please. I don't want her. Okay. See, so she stand up. Um, incredibly busy and truly, whoa, grateful for all of you guys. Um, you know, don't let anything bother you. Um, you know, if you have, oh my God, the kid's climbing up the stairs. If you guys have, um, Cece, sit down. Mommy, mommy. Baby, I can't carry both of you. Not with a phone, too. Come on, Cece. Um, you know, we all have our struggles in life, but you got to put yourself first and make yourself better. Um, put that positive energy out and positive, uh, you know, attitude, and everything comes your way. It will fall in your lap, and I promise you. Everything will be rewarding. Um, hey, Kevin. So I'm out of breath because of these two. Now you guys know why I get 15000 thousand steps in one day. Cece's back up the stairs. See? Um... And the dog's about to go berserk. But I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. But I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. <laughs>